Hi everyone, welcome back. I had a little girls day out mini haul yesterday with my daughter. Um, we decided we were going to spend her day off having a, a girls day. And so we had a lot of fun doing that. We went on a bike ride. It ended up being about six and a half miles and so I'm feeling it a little bit today. Um, but it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. We stopped and we had some lunch and we went to a few stores. And in those stores, I was actually able to pick up a few items and I wanted to share them with you and show you what I got, maybe give you some ideas of what you can look for the next time you're out. Um, I definitely recommend going to the Dollar Tree. That's one of the places we stopped by. It's a great place to go ahead and pick up some makeup that you're wanting to try out without risking a lot. Everything is a dollar and so it really is a great value. Um, I did pick up a couple of color palettes from LA Colors at the Dollar Tree when we were there. Um, and I kind of wanted to give them a shot and see what the color choices were in that line. Um, so I did go ahead and pick up two palettes. The first one is from their LA Colors Expressions series. And this is the traditional palette. It's what it, it um, came in. Uh, and this is their traditional palette. It is neutral colors, obviously. Um, now, I have swatched them a little bit. I haven't used them yet. I do think you're going to have to build up the color a little bit, but I'm interested to see what kind of looks I can get on my eyes with this particular palette. Um, as far as the colors, I thought they were beautiful, and I like the swatches that I did, um, even the lighter colors when I had to build them up, which, you know, the, the whites and um, the very pale browns and things like that. But there's some beautiful colors in here, some nice rich browns and taupes. They're mostly on the matte side, um, I'm interested to see what they're going to look like on my eyes since when I swatched them it looked like there was just the tiniest tiniest little hint of a frost so I'm interested to see if it, it still has that frosty look when it's on your eyes um, the other one was the Twilight Kiss from their professional series and look at these beautiful colors beautiful purples there's a navy right here at the top um, there's lighter shades, darker shades, and I really thought that for eight cents a color, I would give this palette a try too, um, so that I could, you know, see what kind of looks. I noticed the same thing with the swatches of this one as I did the other one, that it tended to, um, have a matte frost finish, but very slight frost. Um, I would classify them more on the, the matte category personally, but I'll have to wait until I see them on my eyes to know for sure. Um, then we headed over to Target and I picked up a couple of things there and one of those things is what I'm really excited about, but I'm saving that for last. Um, I picked up this little crease brush and this is the packaging that it came in. It's just the generic Target brand, I'm assuming, um, that's there. Uh, it, it's shoptarget.com, so I'm assuming this is their brand of brushes. Um, and it's just a crease brush. It doesn't have any special designations or anything like that. You can see it there, and you can see up close the brush there. It's very round. It's not pinched at all. Um, the bristles are very fluffy, and I thought this would be good for blending out my crease. Um, and it was only a couple of dollars, so I figured it was worth a try. Um, and then I got my Pistaris dolls. Yay! I found this set by Sonia Kashik, and I just fell in love with this pattern. It was absolutely wonderful. I, I just, I, I could not get this set. It was $14.99. You get five pieces in this brush set. You get a powder brush, a crease brush, an eyeshadow brush, a smudge brush, a foundation concealer brush. Um, so you look at all these and they're really great. I kind of took them out and just kind of looked at them and felt them and things like that. So I haven't used them yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. The bristles on this powder brush are so soft and it's very fluffy.
And I think it's really going to be great for doing blushes and things like that on my face. Now I'm using an angle brush primarily. So I, I'm looking forward to that. It's not crimped at all. It's completely round, full, fluffy, soft brush. Um, then they had this one. And this, after the pattern, is the brush that caught my eye in the set. Um, it is a crease brush, nice, big, fluffy, great for blending out, great for highlighting, things like that. So I really am looking forward to trying this particular brush. It's not crimped at all either, so it's very round and full and fluffy. Then we have the eyeshadow brush. It is crimped, but it's full at the top and bound together at the bottom. It's got nice bristles in it as well. I think it'll be great for packing on color. And then we have the concealer foundation brush. It's kind of shaped more like a pencil brush, in my opinion, um, than my traditional concealer brushes that I have. But I am looking forward to trying this out and seeing what I can get out of it. Um, I think I might repurpose this from concealer though because I already have quite a few concealer brushes. And then you have your little smudge brush. And it is a great little brush here. I loved this one too. It's probably my favorite after the crease brush. And then the powder brush would be the third, I think. But I was really excited about this set um, at $14.99 for five brushes. It's going to work out to about $3 a brush. And I thought this was a great little set. Um, and it was the last one at my Target. But hopefully they'll have this one where you live too. Because I, I just fell in love with the design. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini haul. And maybe you'll get a chance to go out and have a little mini haul of your own this weekend. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.